Hello. Well, I am back, and a lot has happened since I last posted. Uh, but one big thing is I got a haircut. Very happy about that. Uh, not long after I posted a video where I mentioned needing a haircut, did they open up? So that's uh, it's good for me. Um, but you know, took a while to get in because well, a lot of places were completely booked and had very little time to you know uh, schedule anyone new. And if you <clears throat> wanted to get in and didn't have an appointment before, yeah, if you didn't have an appointment before all the lockdown happened, well, then you're probably gonna wait till at least late July, if you're lucky to even get into some of those places. Uh, others, you know, you are able to get in right away. Great, you can get in and there you go. Sort of what happened here to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, some stuff I kind of want to talk about. For instance, the protests and riots that have broken out. <clears throat> because of the you know death of uh, George Floyd, which was completely unnecessary, didn't need to happen. It, you know, he had to try to pay with a fake twenty dollar bill, <clears throat> counterfeit, and uh, yeah, say he was on drugs and resisted arrest. Though after getting him out of the car and put handcuffs on him, doesn't seem like. He was resisting if he ever was. You know, at any moment, if he was resisting arrest, well, once he put they put the cuffs on him, it seemed like all resisting stopped. And then what then transpired was just nonsense. You know, a lot of people have already talked about that, so I don't really need to get into that. Uh, uh, Any more others have talked about it a lot better than. I could. However, uh, you know, protests happened, you know, wanting justice for all those involved with his death. Um, you know, obviously getting the uh, main cop who was responsible for his death, particularly you know, with it, having his knee on his neck, obviously was very important. Um, and then also the other three officers who were complicit in one way or another, whether they held him down for a while or just stood aside, kept people back, did nothing to intervene with, uh, with him on the ground and getting the officer off of him. Um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, protests happened to, for justice for him, you know, and that's fine, you know, peaceful protests, no problem there. But then it became rioting, and it's really delved into ridiculousness because it's like, you know, this has nothing to do with George Floyd at this point. People are breaking things, saying things on fire, stealing. How does this help? Uh, George Floyd's uh, what happened to George Floyd as well as his family get justice when you're breaking and stealing things I I don't see how that helps it really doesn't help at all and I'm sure many people don't even know who George Floyd is at one point they might have seen and heard of uh, cop uh, killing uh, uh, somebody who was handcuffed and it was completely unnecessary. And I say that because, you know, they might not even know who George Floyd is. Don't even know the man's name. Might have seen the footage. You know, they don't know who he is. But, uh, and they were just joining in with the crowd of breaking things and stealing things. Uh, some thought perhaps it's because of the lockdown for many. Unless you're able to 
go to us if your job was seen as completely essential that could, you know, and you were vital in keeping things afloat during a time of where you're very limited of where you can and can't go, well, all right. Uh, but for others, you know, people lost jobs, people um, may lose jobs once things are opened up completely, though for some it seems like things are actually open here in America. Like, the whole lockdown isn't a thing anymore. It doesn't appear to be. Um, social distancing, in a way, doesn't seem to be a thing. Though people still wear masks, so there is that. Uh, and a lot of the writers are wearing masks because of, you know, to hide their identity. Uh, some people, uh, you know, have, have theorized this, that being forced to go to very few places might have lost their job during all this. You know, it's un just quite unfortunate and annoying. And, uh, but yeah, there's no reason to break things, loot stuff. If, even if the lockdown had a part of it, there's no reason for all this. Um, but yeah, and there are people who blame the media, you know, in a, in a lot of ways, like, you know, for a long time stoking the fires of stuff in moments like this, you know, instead of actually helping to calm things down or show what's going on and calling it what it is, which at this point are riots, you know, not, not really focusing on uh, the peaceful protesters anymore, mostly of uh, streets and cities burning and being destroyed by the citizens, and then the police having to come and use tear gas and other stuff to go and, you know, s stop it all. It's just, you know, it's, so much is going on, it's just like, wow. Uh, here in Iowa, you know, in Des Moines, uh, there were uh, some rioting going on, but not too much has happened really since, like, the first night or two that rioting happened. I know for a mall nearby where I live, uh, not right by where I live, but fairly close. People were going to protest there, and particularly at a Target, as well as a Walmart, that wasn't, isn't too far away from there either. And it's just like, you know, okay, well, what does Target have to do with protesting, you know, for what happened to George Floyd? What does protesting at, you know, Walmart do because you know protesting at like police stations or city hall or places that could really make a true difference for you know, cities and or just or at least send a good signal or message to those of Minneapolis that you know a lot of people are you know with you on this when you're going to other places like stores it's like you sort of gets your message gets kind of lost in translation like there could be a point to it but I, I'm kind of uh, baffled at it especially when uh, targets and Walmarts and other places have been destroyed so I'm like oh you're are you guys gonna go and destroy the local target the local Walmart but apparently that didn't happen so uh, you know, that's a good thing. Um, but, you know, it makes one wonder, what were they planning to do? Were they actually going to protest? And if so, would that have had much of an effect on anything? I don't know. It didn't really seem to happen. Um, though there are, are um, some uh, 
stay uh, like a curfew in the midst of this. Uh, protesting and rioting to help try and keep things down. Uh, like any possible violence to a very minimum. Which is good and interestingly here in Iowa, uh, it's mo it was mostly happened at night, which is an interesting thing to think about. I think how protests and stuff like you know see like it happened during day and night in other places, but here mostly it's kept to at night. So then it's like well people, it's harder to see who you are at night, even if you're wearing a mask. You know, kind of hard. But yeah, it's a uh, it's quite it's a, it's an interesting time to say the least. It's unfortunate that as it seems like uh, the coronavirus, you know, the beer bug, it seems to be almost non-existent. As there's fewer cases of it, and people uh, aren't dying from it as much here anymore. It's like, you know, because anytime they kept talking about the coronavirus, it was, like, it was just the same thing on the news. Nothing new, nothing to report. I thought they were, they were kind of regurgitating the exact same thing every single day because they have nothing new to talk about. There's nothing new to say. There's nothing new to report on. But I guess it's been such a slow news day or slow news week. Got to say something. But then, of course, what's happened in the last week? Well, now we have something new to talk about. Um... But yeah, you know, things are opening up, and especially since, you know, uh, lockdown really ended pretty much here, and things have opened, you know, even movie theaters have opened. That's pretty cool, though. No movies are showing. Uh, it would have been, I think it would have been cool if, uh, you know, if they're doing, still doing social distancing and all, what could happen is uh, they uh, have... Uh, movies play. I didn't get much of a theatrical release that weren't on any sort of streaming service or uh, on demand anywhere, you know. So, uh, those films could possibly make money because they never really had a chance to make money because uh, things were closed. Like, some movies were only open for a week or two didn't get a run at all and so be good but you know, I think what's happening is employees are able to sort of go to work at the theaters and sort of get things going make sure things are running again like they should and just keep things maintained as they've been closed for some time and you know, making sure things are just good. That's what I believe is happening with the theaters. Um, because, you know, nothing is showing. So it's kind of interesting how theaters are open, but you can't see anything. Uh, even as the coronavirus is almost like we've been over the curve. Whether there'll be a second wave or not, I don't know. You know. Seems like the first wave is done, um, at least here in Iowa, which is good. But any second wave, I don't know. You know, people like say it's not going to happen, and then there are those who sort of are like kind of scared and frightened of all of this and saying it will happen. It's only a matter of time. You know, I have no clue. You know, uh, I don't really subscribe to either of those. It's like, well, I'm just going to be as safe as I can. Wash my hands. Uh, you know, after going to the bathroom and other stuff, like my hands get dirty or whatever, you know, wash them. Basically keep myself safe and healthy like um, normal before all this happened. Um, so, you know, it's... Uh, who knows? All I know is... Uh, I'm safe. Uh, friends and family of mine are safe, and um, at least as of recording, and 
all of this. Um, I hope all of you are safe. Uh, this is this isn't one of the most fun times we're living in right now. Um, and I really hope the rest of the year is completely dull and boring. And I um, completely mean that. And I know some might think, why would you want that? It's like, well, look what's happened with the first like half of the year. Just nothing but like one unfortunate thing happens. And just as the one unfortunate thing is basically almost over here, something else unfortunate happens. And now it's just... Uh, I just want it to be completely dull from here on out, and nothing exciting happens for the rest of the year. That's all I want. Even as movie theaters open and movies come out, that's the most exciting thing I want, is just to see movies, see new movies. That's it. That's the most excitement I want out of the whole year at this point. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe something else will interesting will happen to me. I don't know. I can't see that happening in the foreseeable future. Uh, especially with with all that's going on right now. <laughs> Even though great in my state and everything, there's not much <laughs> of too much of a problem here, but you know, things change. Just be, just because right now at this particular moment nothing's going on, that doesn't mean tomorrow or next week something could happen and unleash and just go nuts. Uh I hope that doesn't happen, but, you know, it's, I can't tell the future. I can't, you know, I don't know what will happen next week and what won't. You know, I could make a guess of what I will do next week, you know, and, you know, though it might be quite the same, just do the same routine over and over and not change much, similar to what I've been doing since all this has gone on. So I don't really expect my routine to change too much. Um... But yeah, I hope everybody who's watching this that's in the States are all safe. I also heard Canada, for somehow, for some reason, has riots of their own. Not protests, but riots. Things are breaking and uh, fires are breaking out, apparently. I don't know what that's about. I just heard about it of a few places. I'm like, what? I'm just kind of baffled with that. Oh, people in Canada are fine. Hope people around the world are also fine. Um, hope you're all safe. Hope uh, all of you will have a have a good day, good weekend, good week, all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent near the end, but you know, so much has happened. It's just I just want dull and unexciting to happen for the rest of this year. That's all I want from this moment forward. The, I know that sounds quite boring, but honestly, with what's happened the first five months, going into the sixth month now, can you blame me, honestly? I mean, I think a lot of people would kind of like that, just dull and uninteresting for the rest of the year. People get their jobs back or are able to get new jobs and just a boring, dull routine. I think that's what people would really want at this point, just dull, boring, but... Because a lot of things have, been, have happened that, in various ways, are sort of exciting. But exciting in all of the wrong ways. So, yeah. Like, it's exciting in that something is really happening. Uh, well, what's happening is not fun. And it's not fun for a lot of people. And for those who aren't affected by it uh, directly. Uh, they're affected by it by lockdowns and other stuff. So... Again, hope you're all having a good day. Hope you're all having a good week, good weekend, and we'll have a great week next week. Um, yeah. Till next time, just take care. Bye.